Should we go to the phone line and talk all things Ross Barkley? 0371722344. Dave's a Liverpool fan. Hi, Dave. Good afternoon, gents. How are we? We're good. How are you? Good, oh, you know, old days from poverty, but thanks for asking. Quick question, Dave. Eggs. Fridge or no fridge? Oh, fridge. Okay, fine. Uh, what would you like to say about Ross Barkley? Well, being a Liverpool fan and being no real lover of uh, Everton or Evertonians and such, but uh, you've got to forget about the shirt and look at what the man's done. He's pulling up trees, playing for a team that is struggling. The other players around him are no good. Uh, well, nowhere near as good or not good enough for the Premiership. Mm-hmm. And the man's pulling up trees and he's doing it. And the thing, the reason I'd have him in the squad, I think Mr. Bent said it once, is that he gives us a plan B in mm-hmm. the middle of the park because, as you know, our manager, as well as he's done, doesn't have a plan B unless things work from the start. He's a bit, uh, he's a bit lost. But Ross Barkley can pick the book, uh, ball up in that holding midfield role and he can go past people, commit people and then bring others into Dave, the game. Dave, would you, you have him at Liverpool? You what, sorry? Would you have him at Liverpool? No, I won't fit him, would he? No, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have him at Liverpool. No, there's no space from there. No, I got space for him. We've got we've got players that uh, already do that. Uh, no, no, we've got we we've got kids coming through. We've got people who can already do that. But okay. he's playing at the moment. He, he, at the moment, he could he, he could get in a lot of teams. But no, not that. Not no. yours. Okay, thanks, Dave. Mm. I do wonder then. This I'm just playing devil, devil's advocate, as you always, always say. Do you know who's in that film? Oh, yes, I do. Devil's Your advocate. mate, yeah, Keanu Reeves, the wooden actor. Yeah, is that Pacino? Yeah, well? um, that. Pepper Luton, with the quality that he's got, is it easier for him to stand out than if he went to somewhere? Yeah, okay, I agree with that. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm it's, it's like you look. playing in the schoolboy team. Yeah. You're going to stand out. Yeah, of course. I get that. Uh, mustard? Fridge or no fridge? I don't eat mustard, so it's not in my house. Yeah, but someone might. If no. I come over and you're doing me some lamb, I'll go, you got any mustard? You, you uh, can't uh, go, well, I don't have it, so we don't have it. No, I'll say, no, I don't. Sorry, Andy. Should have bought your own. You can't I've, got, t- I've got mint sauce. Right, where's that go? I love mint sauce. Where's that go? In the cupboard. Mine's in the fridge. No. Mate, you, I need a picture of your fridge. It's empty. All right. <laughs> yeah, how big's your fridge? Not that big. Good. How many fridges you got? Eight foot, something like that. <laughs> I bet mean, it is eight. What's funny? What, wide? No. Eight foot tall? In the valley, yeah. What, bigger than Peter Crouch? Yeah, bigger than Crouchy. Your fridge is eight foot. How'd yeah. you get to the top of it? Well, I'm six foot four. So yeah. Got that. You're not six foot four? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.